Now that you understand how to compute bond value as well as bond yields and return, let's take a look at how bond prices change over time. So the first example that we're going to go over is to look at how does bond price change simply due to the elapse of time. So one of the bond theories says that as a bond mat approaches maturity, the bond's price will converge to its face value. Um, as we said earlier, for all the theory, 99% of the finance theory, we want to understand both the economic reason behind it, as well as to see it demonstrated using numbers. So first, let's think of, think, take a minute to think about why. So pause the, pause the video, think about why would the bond's price converge, meaning become close to its face value. You think about it at the very extreme, on the day of the maturity, after you received your last coupon payment, the bond, the only thing left for you to receive from the bond is its face value. So on the on maturity date, the price of the bond has to equal to its face value, assuming that the company is able to pay to make its promised payment. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. We're gonna look at how the price of a discount, a discount bond change over time and how the price of a premium bond change over time. Okay, so now first let's take a look at a discount, a discount bond. Now let's first take a look at a discount bond. So here we have a bond that has a five, it says it's a 5% bond. When you see the description written this way, a 5% bond, that means that the coupon rate for this bond is 5%. It has 20 years to maturity with semi-annual coupon payment. U to maturity is 8%, so this is the interest rate. And this is gonna stay, we assume that the interest rate is gonna stay at 8% throughout the life of the bond. We are asked to find the bond's price today, in 10 years, and in 20 years. So this is a good example to practice um, bond valuation. So we notice that there are a lot of factors that didn't change. Um, the coupon rate is 5%, and notice that in this case, we were not given the face value. And anytime you do not have the face value, you can assume that the face value is $1,000. So 5% on $1,000 is $100, but we pay try. I'm sorry, it's $50, and we get paid twice per year. So that means we get paid $25 every six months. So 25 is our annuity coupon payment. Next, we have the face value again. If you're not given the face value, we can assume that the face value is $1,000, and that is our future value. The interest rate is the U to maturity, and that's going to stay at 8% per year. We get paid twice per year, so it's 4% every six months, and that's our interest rate. What changes over time is the is the duration. So today, today means the bonds still have 20 years to maturity. So today, M will be 20 years, you get paid twice per year, so be 40 will be your M, and you want to compute the value today. So this is the price today. So pause the video and compute that. So in in fact, in addition to computing the price today, compute the price in 10 years and compute the price in 20 years. Did you get $703 for the price today? Congratulations. So next we're gonna look at the price in 10 years. So the only thing that changed between today and in 10 years is N, remember? So in 10 years, so 10 times 2 is 20, so M becomes 20 in 10 years. And this is a discount bond. Notice that the price today is $703 when the face value was $1,000. So this is a discount bond. And as it approaches maturity, the price of the bond will increase at $709. Let's take an ex uh, the last case where the bond in 20 years. So this bond has 20 years to maturity. So in 20 years, that means that is on the mat on maturity day, on the day of maturity. And of course, the price will exactly be 
$1,000. So we don't really have to do any calculation. In here, um, we're assuming that, this is an important assumption, we assume that you have received the coupon payment and the only payment left was the uh, was the face value of the bond. So in 20 years, the price will have to equal to $1,000. So this is the definition. So we see that for a discount bond, as time progresses, the price of the bonds approaches the face value of the bond. Now let's take a look at another example. Let's look at a premium bond and see how the price of a premium bond change over time. So this is uh, similar to what we have before, except this is a 12% bond. So in other words, the coupon rate for this bond is 12%. So that tells us that the coupon payment for this bond will be 12% per year times $1,000. And because, and that would be $120. But since it's also a semi annual bond, we need to divide that by two. So our annuity coupon payment is $60 every six months. Once again, the face value is going to be $1,000. And the interest rate is also at 8%. So 8% per year divided by two is 4% every six months. So that's our interest or uh, discount rate. And you're asked to do the same thing. You're, gonna, you're asked to find the bonds price today. So today, since you have 20 years to maturity, that will be 40. So 20 times two, you have 40 payments left will be your N. And then you're gonna ask to find the price again in 10 years and also in 20 years. So go ahead and compute that. Since the coupon rate is greater than the yield to maturity, we expect the price of the bond to be higher than the face value, and it is. So the bond at $1,396, this is a premium bond today, and in 10 years, so again, all the information remains the same except the number of time period. And the price of the bond is still a premium bond, but is the premium size or the size of the premium is slightly smaller. And of course, today, and mature, uh, not today, in 20 years when the bond matures, it will have this exact same value as the face value, which is $1,000. So we can actually plot out the bond's price over time. You'll see that for a discount bond, as years to maturity goes towards maturity, the bond's discount will decrease and the price of the bond will approach the face value. The opposite is true for the premium bond. As time goes on, it will the premium size or the size of premium will go down. And once again, the price of the bond will converge towards maturity. And on maturity day, since all the coupon payments have already been made and the only cash flow left is the face value of the bond, both bonds will sell at par on the day of maturity.